Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom page numbers in Microsoft Word. So let's go ahead and open up this folder and inside this folder, I've got this blank Word document, right? It's just a blank Word document. And as default, every single page will inherit the header and the footer uh, in Microsoft Word. But we can override the first page. We almost think of it as like the front cover. And our front cover, we don't really want to have a page number on there. So I'm going to double click in the header section at the top here. You see this like gray section on the side here. So I'm going to double click maybe around here. Left click twice. And on this page here, I'm going to say different first page here. And in here, I'm just going to write, uh, let's just write here, first page header right header I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to double click in the footer just for reference I'm going to write uh, let's just write in here first page um, let's just write first page footer this is only for your own visual reference so I'm going to double click inside the middle of the document now I'm going to just double click we've got first page header and first page footer so imagine this is actually like your um, your front cover of your word document you can put your your brand or whatever you want on here put your logo in the header and your whatever you want your website address down here maybe and then we're going to go to insert and we're going to do a uh, page break here when we insert page break you'll notice the next page does not inherit the first page header and footer because we said that it's unique right it's unique to this so when we double click in the header here we can leave it blank or we can just call it whatever we want we can put our logo our branding in here right for now i'm going to leave it blank and i'm going to double click in the footer section down here double click and um i want to now let's just see i want to now right align this i'm going to go to home i'm going to click right align or center you can right align it if you like on this side and i'm going to go to insert and i want to insert a page number so let's go to let's see page numbers here I'm just going to do current position and we're just going to use a simple page number you can use something like this if you like but i'm just going to do a simple page number so right now you see it says a number two down here let's zoom in a little bit you can see this is first page and it says number two because word assumes this is actually the first page which is actually correct but we want this to be a number one here right so we're just going to double click on the number two double left click right click on it and then we're going to go to format page numbers here and inside format page numbers, we're going to do start at and going to set it to zero value here, zero. And then click OK. And now that will become page one. And it's treat word is treating this as page zero, which is our front cover. So any other pages we add after this will be page two, three and four. So if we were to just double left click inside here, now you can see page one down here. And if we go to insert page break and then just do that a few times, we can see now we've got page one, page two, three, four, five and page six even though we have seven pages in total right one two three four five six seven but this one is page zero and we didn't add a page number on the footer which is why we don't see it on the first page and this becomes page one let's go ahead and save this word document uh, hopefully this will help a few people out i know that there's some people out there that ask me about creating a front cover and then having separate page numbers that run afterwards uh, in sequential order this is how you do it in microsoft word let's go ahead and close down this document that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial